Hair oiling when it's done right, it can lead you to the hair of your dreams, but when you do it wrong, it can cause you terrible problems like hair falls. So in this video, I'm going to show you my personal tips on how to avoid hair fall when you oil your hair. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video and let's begin with my first personal tip for no hair fall after oiling, which is massaging your scalp first before oiling. Once you put oil on your hair, it becomes very fragile. It is similar to when your hair is wet, so it's more vulnerable to breakage and damage and when you use improper massage techniques with oil, you can be causing tension and tons of breakage, especially if you're not gentle or careful with the massage. It is possible that your excessive hair fall could be caused by this. That is why my best advice I can give you to avoid hair fall is to massage your scalp before you oil because while your hair is still dry, you can manipulate it a little bit more than when it's oil. I've been doing this for a while and I can tell you that the hair shedding I see now looks more normal than before when I was massaging with oils on my hair. So for the massage, I personally use a bamboo brush because I can detangle and then proceed to massage my scalp for 5 minutes. Sometimes I do 10 minutes. Bamboo brushes are fantastic for increasing blood flow to the scalp, which is what is going to help with increasing hair growth and also for improving absorption of the oil. Another personal tip for no hair fall after oiling is to avoid applying oil when you have dandruff. Oiling the scalp when you already have dandruff is actually a bad idea because the yeast that causes dandruff feeds from the excess oils and the dead skin you already have. So when you apply oil on top of the infected scalp, it will only promote the growth and the spread of more fungus, which can cause more inflammation on the skin and lead you to increase of hair fall. Dandruff doesn't directly cause hair fall, but the itchiness and the irritation on your scalp can lead to unnecessary hair fall. So instead of using oils to treat dandruff, what you can do is to use hair rinses with rosemary, cloves, peppermint, lavender. These herbs are not only antifungal and anti-inflammatory, they are great for hair growth. And to be honest, whenever I use them for this purpose, I personally feel so much relief from my dandruff. Also, I notice that I don't experience dandruff too often compared to when I used to use oil to treat my dandruff, this problem will come back faster. There are so many wonderful hair oils, but unfortunately, not all of these are gonna work on your specific hair and scalp. So my next personal tip for no hair fall after oiling is to avoid using any oil on your scalp. When it comes to hair oiling, it is very important to select your oils based on your scalp type, like if it's dry or oily. Allow me to explain this. If you have dry scalp, use carrier oils that have moisturizing properties. A lot of the times, these are heavier, like avocado oil, all of oil, castor oil. Now let's say you have normal oily scalp, then opt for a lightweight oils like grapeseed oil, almond oil, jojoba, and pumpkin seed oil. These are going to be more compatible for your scalp type than a thick heavy oil. However, there is an oil that I will never ever recommend to anyone to use on their scalp, which is coconut oil. It is okay if you want to use it on the ends of your hair because it can be very beneficial for some hairs. But when it comes to the scalp, coconut oil is way too heavy and difficult to remove so it has the potential to clog your hair follicles and cause you tons of hair loss so let's try to stay away from that one I am pretty sure I have said this hair oily mistake before, but it doesn't hurt to remind you that using too much oil can do more harm than good on your hair. The thing about applying excess oil on your scalp is that it can drown your hair follicles and if this happens, it will cause you intense hair fall. You want your hair and scalp to be saturated but not soaked so that the skin is able to absorb and when it's time to wash it off, you are able to do it with no problem. So a way I keep track of how much oil I use on my hair is to always start with one tablespoon of my favorite mixed oils and work my way up if I need to. But honestly, for me, one tablespoon is more than enough to cover my whole scalp and it hasn't caused me any problems. 
My next personal tip for no hair fall after oiling is avoiding leaving oils overnight. Look, this is a very tricky thing to talk about it because I used to think that the longer you leave the oils, the better results you get. But I have realized that that's true for some hair treatments, but not so much for hair oiling. As leaving oil for more than 8 hours will cause dust, dirt accumulation, and with this, clogging and weakening of the hair follicles leading you to hair fall. So my advice is to avoid leaving leaving oils overnight as much as you can. If you have to do it one day, it is alright, but try your best not to do it often. And ideally, what you should do is to oil your roots for 2-4 to four hours maximum before washing your hair. If you have oily scalp, please stay away from leaving oils overnight at all costs since your scalp is more prone to attract more often dirt and dust in your roots, which is gonna increase the chances of irritation and you know what's next. So after we massage and apply the oil treatment, it is important to handle your hair and scalp gently because at this point, it is at its most fragile stage and we don't want to break it or damage it. So my next personal tip for no hair fall is to avoid tight hairstyles after oiling. Once you are done with your hair oil treatment, your hair cuticles open up, your scalp is relaxed, so everything becomes more vulnerable. And this increases the chances for your hair to fall out if you tie your hair to tight or comet in this state. So what you can do instead of using tight hairstyles is to use loose hairstyles. Like you can do a low ponytail or a loose braid. Anything that doesn't put tons of pressure on your roots, it is good. I personally prefer to cover my hair with a microfiber towel or a shower cap just to be extra careful. It is more comfortable as well. Plus when you cover your hair, this captures the heat coming from your scalp, boosting the absorption of the oil and also, if you think about it, this protects my scalp from attracting dirt and dust while I weigh since it is covered and protected. Another important tip for no hair fall after oiling is washing your hair twice. If you don't wash your hair properly after oiling, the oil residue left on your scalp is going to clog your hair follicles and cause hair to fall out. That is why using the double shampoo method, it is an effective, simple way to ensure your scalp is very clean after oiling. So the way you do this is pretty straightforward. Instead of shampooing once, you're gonna shampoo twice. And this shampoo should only focus on the scalp, okay? So the first shampoo wash removes all dirt, buildup, and residue caught up in your hair. Now rinse, and we're gonna wash one more time. The second shampoo wash will allow the shampoo benefits to take place, plus the second wash is gonna make sure that if there is any stubborn oil stuck in there, it's gonna get removed completely. Now you're gonna rinse again, after this move on to conditioner or hair mask or whatever step in your hair wash routine. I personally only use this method when I do my oil treatments. It always works wonders and my scalp feels and stays very clean afterwards. My next personal tip for no hair fall after oiling is to avoid oiling your hair too often. If you want to maximize your hair oiling results, something that it took me time to realize is that breaks are necessary. What I mean with this is that you need to allow your scalp to breathe, to have some breaks from oil treatments from time to time. Yes, oiling once a week is more than enough to nourish your scalp with good nutrients, improve hair growth, and to get your hair into a healthy state. But if you are constantly oiling your hair too often, all you're gonna do is to clog your hair follicles with oil, plus you're gonna be drying out your hair because you need to wash it all the times. and at the end, all you're gonna accomplish with oil treatments is more breakage than growth. So finding a balance is extremely important to have success with oils. I personally think oiling twice a week is the limit for me, and definitely oiling more than three times a week is a total mistake that it will definitely lead you to hair problems like hair fall. I understand how frustrated it is to see a lot of hair shedding, but you have to understand that hair shedding is a natural thing, okay? And look, coming from someone that has four strands, losing extra ones is kind of painful. You know, everything counts in here. <laughs> I just want to make something very clear. Hair shedding is absolutely normal and you're still going to experience hair shedding when you oil, when you shower, and even after shower. Why? Because 
those activities stimulate a lot your scalp and in your scalp you have dead hairs that were like ending of the cycle of hair growth so they are supposed to fall so when you do the stimulation you're just helping those dead hairs to deattach from your scalp so new hair growth happen in that hair follicle so even if you try to avoid hair oiling because you don't want to see hair shedding those hairs are still going to fall eventually maybe tomorrow maybe in a few weeks so don't worry about it because that's just a natural thing to happen when you have hair so what I wanted for you to take from this video is to be aware of the mistakes that it can cause hair fall that was not supposed to fall if you know you're not making these mistakes then most likely the hair shedding you have is just natural and it was supposed to happen girl okay so don't worry about it I love you guys I hope you enjoy like this video and if you did don't forget to share some love to me by subscribing to this channel right here Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll get to see you in the next video. Pura vida!